this is just Hollywood stuff. You know, this is what happens on the set. Yeah. You know, yeah. we'll edit this out with CGI. So random stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Middle America, you won't see this. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Testing, testing my microphone. Five, six, seven. Testing. Yeah, no, that sounds All better. Right. Hashtag freedom. Hashtag America. <laughs> freedom flies. And freedom flies. Then it just crashed. Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome. So this this is kind of a difficult one to prepare for because I'm not sure what to ask about. Do you want to do this like? Um, I know you're on the Microsoft's research team. That's right. Uh, what do you do there? Uh, so basically, I'm in the distributed systems team. So uh, at a high level, my research looks at two different things. I look at uh, scalable uh, cloud storage systems, and then I look at stuff on the client side of web applications. So that's yeah. what I'll be talking about uh, at the conference uh, oh, this right. week, and that's in general what sort of you know prevents me from being a happy person in life. Right. The fact that things like JavaScript and HTML exist and haven't been destroyed yet <laughs> by the forces of good. Right. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing that presentation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you should. I mean, like I say in the talk at the very beginning, though, it's not a message of hope. It's a very dark talk. You know, uh -huh. we're going to go to some very psychologically disturbing places. Uh, yeah. But I think most people will be strong enough to handle it. Yeah, yeah so was, that was actually going to be my first question to you is um, what are we going to do? at the zombie apocalypse? Well, I mean, it's kind of like one of those things like if you walk into like the Ferrari dealership and you say, how much does it cost? If you have to ask. You know? <laughs> yeah. Suffice it to say, if you stick close to me, though, I think you'll be fine. You yeah. know, I've got, you know, I've been forming alliances for the last couple years. You Sounds know, I've good. got all the gangs on my side. I've stockpiled bullets and uh, antibiotics, things like that. So, yeah. yeah. It should be okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a few spots that I've scoped, you know, like good hiding <laughs> yeah, locations. Exactly. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of low on guns. So maybe okay. you can provide some of that. Well, once again, coming from America, I can help you with that. Uh, so, so, you know, perhaps being European, you can help me with uh, very long constitutions and things like that. Maybe <laughs> yeah. regulations and like walnut king, farming or something. King, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have lots of space no one's nice. using as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> lots of... Yeah, 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 sure. Lots that'll, of that'll be perfect. Yeah. Like yeah, in the end of days, yeah. yes. Fi firewood, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I was uh, watching... Uh, one of your previous um, talks, mm. and um, I was watching it on YouTube, and I was reading the YouTube comments, and the top comment was, um, why is Satya Nadella CEO of Microsoft? Why yeah. is uh, James Mickens not CEO of Microsoft? So just, I mean, first I want to say for sure I didn't make that comment. You know, I mean, I of course <laughs> endorse it, but I would never do something like assume a fake YouTube identity yeah, to somehow post a comment cheap. like that. That's, it, that's it's cheap. It, does, it cheapens the art. Yeah, the yeah. way that I think that's about true. it. Um, and I would say, listen, you know, life is very confusing. You know, <laughs> things sometimes happen for reasons we can't fully understand. You know, if, if people out there want to start a writing campaign, I would not stop that. I would right. not stop that. Oh, I might even it? initiate it and then sign it myself. But, you know, we're all, we're all friends here. I'm sure that, you know, he probably doesn't know who I am. But, you know, that's, that's how revolutions start. Yeah. You know, sort of at the <laughs> grassroots and then... Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, I mean, we're not going to... Um, we're not going to start such a petition ourselves, but um, we're hoping that some of our listeners might uh, consider this as an option. Well, you know, from little acorns, great oaks grow. Yeah. You know, so you tell two people, he tells two people. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty soon, that's that's like you know six people, yeah. I guess, and then me, and then you know, just yeah, that's like seven we'll see. people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's like, that's like yeah. yeah, yeah. I just I just verified that math. So yeah, yeah it's like seven Whoa. people. It's larger than the cities around here. Yeah, yeah. We'll need to have stronger growth soon, otherwise I'll just get fired. Yeah. And that's, you know, then I'll be sleeping on one of those seven people's futons, oh. which is not yeah, quite don't. the growth curve I was looking for. So. Yeah. yeah, that's not not fitting for the CEO, I think. It, it's, yes, you get uh, it. That's unless right. Unless it's a very small company. I yeah, think. yeah, you will survive the revolution. I like your attitude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, he does that. He does that. <laughs> that's right. You're one of the first seven. <laughs> yeah, so in, the, um, in one of your papers, you mentioned that the... Um, the worst thing that could possibly happen is misaligned memory address pointing. Pretty much. Yeah, I'd what rank that it's like, you know, homelessness, nuclear proliferation, like misaligned memory axes. Yeah. Like probably misaligned memory axes is the worst. Yeah. I mean, homelessness is bad too. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I feel, I feel like misaligned memory axes are more universal. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like some of us have home, some of us don't. But who hasn't misaligned a memory access? Yeah. Then, yeah. You know, woken comes up the next morning. Bite you in a different yeah, way. exactly. Like homeless exactly. And, and I mean, yeah. if you're homeless, at least you have hope. You know, you that's can right. see homes. You that's can right. Go to them, yeah, when you get that seg fault, man, that's a yeah. bad part of town. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you got a roof above your head or not. Yeah. You know, I really think of myself as the as the person's programmer. 
you know, going out there exposing yeah. those issues that sort of the common man, the common woman experience. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, feel misaligned all the time, really. So uh, yeah, so I assume that C is not your favorite language. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask it to the prom if that's what you're asking. <laughs> I, mean, right. I would say the C. I mean, the thing about C is that, you know, C is like one of those languages. Like sometimes you'll go on the on the web and you read about some language and they'll say like it's got like 18,000 features. Uh, these following features are for the power user. You know, everyone else shouldn't use these features. C is kind of like a language that only consists of power user features. Yeah. Right? It's like almost every feature that it has can be used for just deep, deep evil. Now, sometimes you need that, right? So you work with the hardware, you got to get down there, you know, sort of, you know, look the demon in the eye. Yeah. But besides that, like, actually, it's very funny. So sometimes, you know, you interact with students, and students think that programming in C is, like, manly. Yeah. It's like, ah, I'm do everything in C. And so you ask them to do something very, very simple. It's like, why don't you write me a program to, you know, parse a text file? And it's like... Eight days later, they're like, I'm still not done, dude. But yeah. when I'm done, it's going to be super fast, man. Super fast. I mean, is that guy over there? You're that guy? Maybe that guy started I might be that guy. <laughs> okay, he might be that guy? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, That's then. pretty cool. It's like usually when you talk about that guy, he's not actually there interviewing you. Yeah, <laughs> no. I feel like the, this is an amazing interview. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, this, this is great. Wow. <laughs> it's like being an interview. <laughs> story by the for my grandchildren. Yeah. Interviewed by the Yeti. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I'll be nine years old. I was sitting there and then I, I talked to that guy. He was there. <laughs> yeah, actually, it wasn't a friend of a friend of a friend. That's he was right there. I actually met him, yeah. And he was writing his game in straight I kind of feel C like, oh my, GL. Yeah, like a Terminator meeting John Connor, though. Like, do I have some <laughs> right. obligation to take you out? <laughs> You're that guy. <laughs> no, no pressure. <laughs> yeah, exa exactly. Exactly. That's okay. Yeah. You're still one of the seven. I haven't kicked you out. Yeah, yeah. just not the top but, yeah, one. yeah, you should probably learn I mean, Python, if though. You, <laughs> if, you need, if you need that parser quickly to defeat the zombies, don't talk to me. Talk to him. But, yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, but he gets you a really pure, well, the start of a really pure solution. Yeah, he's super fast. Yeah. Super yeah, yeah, fast, it would have been if super it fast program, even though it's blocked on I.O. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. You, know, you get that super tight inner loop. Yeah, extremely fast. Yeah. Don't don't show me multi-core CPUs. I, I don't like to see that. But super fast. Oh, you don't like multi-cores? It complicates things, you know? Oh, okay. Like, so you just want to keep things very simple. Like, yeah, you know, interesting. Extra things to yeah. It's like you like speed up to the point at which you require another core. Yeah. At which point you're like, I'm out. You should drop the mic. <laughs> yeah. I've had enough. Nothing yeah. should need to be that fast anyway. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you like iteration? Or you just mean like a, sh <laughs> I mean, a straight line code? Yeah, I mean, I love yeah. this stuff. Like, if I have a variable, I want to increment yeah. it. Like, yeah. That's, oh, that's totes. I totes. I only increment variables. <laughs> yeah. Decrements. Because if you decrement them, you're just going to have to increment it again. Yes. I mean, it's like admitting that's you're a waste wrong. of time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Only go forward. <laughs> Only I mean, go I forward. guess you can kind of like if you're decrementing one and yeah. then incrementing twice, it's like you're doing a moonwalk, you know? It is. You kinda, it's childish, if we you, can be honest. Making progress. Just, decre I I believe subtraction should not even be supported by high level languages. I mean, if you subtract enough, you're going to wrap. So it's kind of. It's true. Yeah, yeah, but see, if you want to do that kind of stuff, you know, be a philosophy major. You know, just just continue adding. I mean, it's, yeah. listen, you see a lot of brutal stuff out there. I mean, it's very funny because, like, actually, like, you know, if you look in the kernel code sometimes, yeah. you'll, you'll see, like, these weird little things. Like, instead of, like, people doing these very straightforward things, they're like, listen, dude. And you can almost tell the programmers kind of looking shiftily around, like, as they're programming <laughs> it. They're like, instead of doing an add, I'm going to write shift by one. Hmm. I'm going to and it with the special constant X, X, you know, yeah. and you read it. And then, you know, it's like, well, that's nice if that works now, I swear. But, like, someone's going to change one little thing, like, oh, two yes. files away, and then yeah. just zombies are going to walk the earth. Uh -oh. It's going to be a pain. <laughs> but seriously, that's a good message to tell to the kids, though, I think. Don't ever decrement. No. no. Then nothing it's, good can come of that. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's right. Also, too, I never have my functions return. I feel like by treating the stack as an infinite resource, I really demonstrate my power over the machine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you always have exceptions, you know? You can That's right. The machine will tell you when you've run out of stack. Yeah. It's kind of like my attitude towards paying taxes. I don't. And then yeah. the government will just tell me, like, hey, you yeah. owe us some taxes. I'm like, get a clear message. thanks for that. Yeah, yeah, you've done all the hard work for me. Yeah. And, now, there, and then maybe I will pay that, maybe I won't. Yeah. So, you know. That's how I keep this baby soft skin. Yeah. You know, <laughs> delegation. That's, it all works out in the that's end. Right. That's, right. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Putting on a clinic, gentlemen. Putting on a clinic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I was going to ask you, you you're experienced. You've, you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. What were you and by this, the... just life. Yeah. I've just been doing life for a long time. Uh. Just been out there keeping it real. Yeah. On the streets, you know. Basically, like, I'm like a, 
black Gandalf is the way I would describe him. You can't say that. No, no, but course, I, can, I, can, I can say that, though. <laughs> Especially so nothing Sweden. <laughs> you did say that. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I did say it. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, that was only... <laughs> yeah, so, I was so, telling one of my friends I was coming to Sweden. They're like, yeah, Sweden's pretty cool, but like, you know, watch out. <laughs> like, well, watch out for what? Yeah. And the person said, I don't know. I, I just read the news. You should just watch out. You never know. <laughs> yeah, you never exactly. so, so my first day walking around Malmo, I'm like, I should be watching out for stuff. Yeah. What's going on? Don't take well, you know, actually, watch Actually, Malmo's yeah. featured on Fox News as one of the no, most really. dangerous places in the, in the world. Well, I mean, Fox News is the only place I get my news from. Yeah. yeah. And I accept it uncritically. So that's, you know, Fox well, News I mean, is fair the case. And balanced. So that's what I love about it. It's, it's the conjunct. It's yeah. not just fair or balanced. No. It's fair and balanced. I mean, yeah, everything that's balanced. the most powerful thing. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing, too. Don't increment. Never use or. Have, have confidence. Yeah. Since. Have confidence. And Only use yeah. and. Yeah. yeah. No if. Yeah. Since. Yeah. No if. Yeah, exactly. Since. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. And I mean, a, a scale that's pushed all the way into the floor, that's, that's right. balanced, too. <laughs> that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, but I feel we're getting off topic. So I believe I last left off of Black Gandalf. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just to sort of land the plane. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I want to see where this is going. Through magic stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, it's back at the uh, the comfort hotel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got a special room that had a special uh, staff holding closet just for that. Is it easy to get those through airport security nowadays? I find it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> So typically, I just stroll through there. I mean, as it turns out, you can't stroll in a mortar. You can stroll through airport security oh, no. <laughs> holding a Gandalf staff. So. Yeah, turns out that you, ca you shall not pass. But it actually works. <laughs> That's there. right. Very subtle. It's very subtle. Yeah. Stop the bad thing. Stroll back in your face. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's right. <laughs> oh, um, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, did, <laughs> have I just ground that question into dust? Yeah, <laughs> it's just, I mean, I'm still yeah. on Black Gandalf. Like, it's, yeah. just such a it's okay. Wonderful. It's okay. It's a compelling concept. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah it's definitely. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> just run around in the studio space. That's yeah. not a Peter Jackson movie, though. That's right. Yeah. Some other director, I think. That's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I guess Tarantino, if, you, if you were Gandalf, then yeah. who is Sauron? Who is Sauron? That's a good question. It's interesting because I have so many entities that I dislike. It's difficult to sort of narrow it down to uh, to one thing. Uh, I might say maybe the W3C. Uh, oh, really? So yeah, they you know they're good kids. In case any of them are out there, you yeah. know I'm sure they're all going to heaven. I guess the problem is like those documents though. I read them sometimes, and I'll discuss this a little bit in my my talk uh, tomorrow. Yeah. And it's just like it's like waking up in the middle of a nightmare. It's like you're just trying to understand like you know what's the web worker interface. And so, like, if you were talking to somebody on the street, you'd be like, oh, web workers are sort of a interface, introduce multi-threading into the browser, so on and so forth. But then you read these docs, and it's, like, all these, like, hyphens and braces and footnotes and stuff uh, like that. So and it's many. like, yeah. to understand web workers, first you must understand Kant's notion of free will. And you're like, what just happened to <laughs> yeah. This doesn't seem like a prerequisite, yeah, you know? I just, I just take the link for an explanation, and I end yeah, up exactly. somewhere where the scroll bar has disappeared. Yeah, and then every single link... Every single word is like hyperlinked to something else. Yeah. Like yeah. for sure, that's totes inconsistent. Yeah. Like I'm sure, like half those links just lead to just madness. Yeah, like H.P. Lovecraft novel <laughs> so, or something. Yeah. So I used to work in the telecom industry, and yeah. one a part of that was reading specifications yeah. for phone systems. And um, to begin with, the specifications come in the form of word documents packaged in zip files, hundreds of them. Sweet. Linked on a website. Hosted somewhere in Japan. Sounds about, was it FTP? Was it like FTP yeah. to machine that didn't have a host name, just a raw IP address? <laughs> yeah. I always click yeah, those. <laughs> yeah. And each document has multiple versions. Cool. With all the edits ever made annotized on top of the text. That's nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel your pain. Was that, did that story take place in the 1950s? It like took I, place I feel like wish it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was everything black and white back then, or this was this like Man, a this well, recent stuff. story? Yeah. Everything blacked out for a while. Okay, yeah, yeah that'll was, happen sometimes. Yeah. That's gross. Uh, yeah, well, what's funny is that you have. To, I mean, sometimes like that's the only place you can find out stuff like this. Yeah. So you look at the specs, and then yeah. well, what's so funny though is that you know I complain a lot about you know browsers, the implementers, they you know the vendors don't do things correctly. But, I mean, yeah. look at what they have to work with. These specs are so confusing and voluminous. And yeah. all users are like, just give me the feature now. I'll deal with it. Then the feature yeah. comes out. They're like, why did you give me the feature? It's not finished yet. And, yeah. it's, and it's it just, doesn't follow the specification. Yeah, exactly. It's just a, a real cycle of violence. Uh, yeah. So I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know what the solution is. Like, uh, I saw this presentation yesterday about the new features uh, yeah. for web components. And one of the things they had was that 
uh, you can give a name to, like, uh, I think it was templates, you na name it, the name has to contain a hyphen. Yeah. And that's the, that's the rule. And it's like, how are you ever going to figure that out? Like, you, you make one and it, everything looks fine, and it's like, oh, no, you didn't have a hyphen in the name. Yeah. It's just insane. Like, wh why are you doing this to me? And what's great is that that's now the way it is forever. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Because, like, now people make that in their program, so if now at some point somebody comes over and they're like... Well, why why can't we change this? Then you know, Otto von Hyphen, whoever it was yeah. that you know yeah. demanded this be there, it's like, <laughs> well, I've actually got mission critical code running in nuclear reactors yeah. that you requires that hyphen to be there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, it's a terrible scene. Yeah, yeah. How did how did you escape, by the way, that world of standards madness? Oh, I quit. That's oh, that's pretty much how you do it. I thought maybe like Liam Nielsen like rescued you. <laughs> no, no, no. Did he like call up your parents? You've been taken. <laughs> <laughs> Or one hyphen. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> me up. A series of mysterious hyphens have taken your son. Yeah. I'm going to rescue him. <laughs> He's been standardized. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. By it's a dangerous world out there. Here, take this hyphen. It is. It is. <laughs> Seriously. We laugh, but we laugh to stop from crying. Yeah. It's no, rough. No, I'm crying inside. Yeah. Yeah. Deep inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you mean this delightful Scandinavian weather hasn't cheered you up? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, well, darkness is delightful, I have to say. It's, um, okay. I mean, it's great well. for programming late at night. Are you, into, are you into that Scandinavian death metal? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, so you, a, you struck me as a... Yeah, so this is not a joke, but I'm a drummer in a black metal band. <laughs> wow, so the interview takes a serious turn. What is your stage name? Is it like Gorgoroth? Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's a second name. Oh, oh, my bad. Is that a real Scandinavian name? No, this is like an international incident mother. now. Yeah, yeah, oops. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get for interviewing an American. <laughs> uh, no, that's, actually, it's many years now since I did that stuff. But uh, I see. Yeah. Well, but I mean, but you still have those instincts, right? I could like put like a drum kit of like 18 drums up here. You'd know exactly what to do. Well, I slam you know? the things. Oh yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> no, you no. get that like triple kick drum. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Metallica's too slow for you. <laughs> So what what was the main um, theme of your songs? Um, that's a good question. Actually, I don't know if I remember any. Any like, lyrics? Uh, were, the, yeah, were there any lyrics or? <laughs> it's, just, it's just it's just the singer just going. <laughs> no, I think actually I think one was called "In the Deep Asheratum," which I, which I think is also from the Lord of the Rings. Okay. So, yeah, mm. very inspired by. That's cool. Uh, so what what did that what does that mean? Yeah, no idea. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's the great really thing about Scandinavian death metal. Yeah, 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 you know, it's just about it's about it's about sort of hitting you in your in your feral soul. You know? I mean, I think you know you can print the lyrics to the songs in the notes, you know, right. for the album. But if you if you read them, it's kind of that's not the point, right? You know? yeah. Like preferably if you print them, you should print them in a font that's in, totally unreadable. Right, right. So, I mean, oh, yeah, that's one of the big things about... So I actually listen to a lot of uh, sort of non-Scandinavian metal. Yeah. And so, uh, as you know, the metal community is perhaps the most judgmental community of all communities. And so there's oh, yeah. all these different <laughs> wars about... And yeah, what's funny about the Scandinavian stuff, yeah, the, the fonts they use are like, are like twigs. Yeah. Just like things people found wandering out in the woods. And so, oh, yeah. you know, like I'll go to the record store and someone's like, yeah, have you heard the latest from, you know, Amon Roth or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Check it out. And I'll, I'll look at the cover yeah, of the yeah. album. I'm like, what is this? This is like a migraine. I can't yeah. understand any, yeah. any of this. Oh, it's runes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it probably is cool. as well. Yeah. I'm glad to hear they haven't progressed beyond that over there. That's, <laughs> well, some of us I have. thought their educational system was great. <laughs> well, I mean, what well, it used to be. One of the funny things about that is that the bands don't really care. Like, the people right. who actually make this music, it's just for fun, you know? It's like, like you just made a logo, like, we, we can't read that stuff. But the fans go crazy. Like, oh, yeah. The fans really, really take it seriously. It's a serious scene. So you get this funny thing where, you're like, you, you made this music and you get off stage and someone's like, oh, my God, you know, like, true. And you're like, just calm down, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you totally saved my life. I was in high school. I was in a dark place. Yeah, how did you know about That's that? right. Then I thought, what would Beelzebub do if confronted with an English midterm and you hadn't studied the night before? It's yeah. like, yeah. thank you, Gogoroth. <laughs> okay. Good, good for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, that's when you get into development. Nobody ever comes up and thanks you for saving their life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that if statement you did. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, Goosebumps. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I was in that dark place, but your Fibonacci routine. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a classic of the genre, man. And that B-side, factorial? 
Oh, man, that was killer stuff. <laughs> why, does, why doesn't Code have B-sides? Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> How do you release like, a oh, single? Oh, that guy's fist bus. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. legendary. That's, you know, like, I that's can, right. I can run that function all day. Oh, totally, totally. <laughs> the way he just, he skipped that inner loop in SHA-1, and now it runs like eight times faster. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Nothing but collisions, but super fast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we talk about Rockstar developers all yeah. the time, but we don't really have Rockstar developers. Like, maybe that's exactly. what we need, you know? Like, that's the next level. Like the program is stumbles in, trashes the hotel room. <laughs> yeah, <stumbles laughs> totally. In. Well, I mean, to be honest, I've done that already. Wow. I didn't know that there was justification for it, but now, yeah, yeah. yeah that's way right. ahead so of us. So when the Swedish ahead, police yeah. show up, yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm a rock the, star, bro. It's the incrementing. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, it's exactly. Not what, Never that's decrement. What research yeah. is about being on the edge, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And if that requires me to throw a TV out of a hotel room, so be it. Yeah. I that mean, was you do what you do to to ship, you know. Ship, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> ship that TV. That's right. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, did, ship it. fail another unit test. Yeah. See what I do the other yeah. time. Yeah, same fate as the first one. Yep. That TV is in the cloud now. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. He's uh, sleeping with the fishes. Yeah. yeah, totally. Totally. <laughs> Next question. Yeah. Just free form. It's just free form. You know, We're like jazz musicians out here, yeah. just riffing. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. I mean, that's. Are you into music? Yeah, into yeah, music yeah. So well? I actually, yeah. So I listen to a lot of uh, rock music. I play the guitar, actually. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I listen to all the sort of what I consider to be the classic stuff. So uh, uh, Metallica, uh, Sepultura, uh, you know, things like that. Diamond Head, like some of these obscure like British bands. Oh, Denmark is um, quite close, yeah. If you want to go visit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so thinking, yeah going to. Oh, is that is that where most of these bands are coming? That uh, that's Diamond, where England is. Ah. Yeah, Diamond is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I'm actually going to go over to Copenhagen yep. on uh, Saturday. Uh, so I should just be able to go over there and wear like my uh, my British steel, you know? Oh yeah, bomber jacket. They'd be like, Yeah, yeah, come on, come rock with us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just I mean, as our scrolls of wisdom predicted. <laughs> yeah, just as a tip, um, yeah. if you're going to put on uh, like a back print, yeah, be careful because uh, okay. there's a lot of biker gangs in. Oh, like, okay. You don't want to wear the wrong one. <laughs> oh, I see. That's good so, to know. Yeah, that's kind so, of like, uh, yeah, like I went to England one time during the World Cup, and I thought, oh, that's so cute. These people are into football. Good for them. Yeah. You know, take their mind off of stuff. So, but I didn't understand, like, the allegiance to, like, your favorite club is, like, stronger than your allegiance to your family. Oh, yeah. This is, it's, like, you more important. You don't mess with that. Yeah, yeah so I, I went to some restaurant or some bar or whatever, and they come in there and say, which team you rooting for, mate? Oh. And I'm like, uh, I, don't, I didn't really know. So I thought, like, what team do I know? Uh, I don't really know anyone except for Manchester U. So I'm like, uh, Manchester U. He's like, get out of here. Because <laughs> this is apparently like a Chelsea bar. I don't know. It's, it's, man, oh. it's crazy. But, you know, I didn't get stabbed. So, no, so, so it can't story be, has a happy ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't have been too wrong. Then. That's right. Yeah. I'm here to tell the story. Yeah. 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 <laughs> No, definitely. There's some things you don't want to get wrong, and like yeah. football in Britain, like no, you yeah. don't, you don't want to go there. It's an intense yeah. scene. Yeah. <laughs> no right answers. <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly right. one right answer. That's right. I that's guess, right. I guess. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> right. So distributed systems. Yeah. Um, what would you say is the most distributed system you've ever developed? The brain. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Kidding, of course. Uh, I mean, it depends. I mean, I think in general, you know, distributed systems are just very tough to both build and to debug. I yeah. mean, it, and I think a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of uh, sort of classically trained researchers or software developers, they oftentimes don't think that the web is super complex yeah. because they sort of learned about the web like, you know, 15 years ago, they edited their website with Notepad, and now they're like, oh, it's just some tags. Yeah. You know, now it's super, super complicated. You've got all these layers. You've got, you know, you've got, um, you know, caching layers and cached you stuff like that. You've got various database stuff on, you know, on the back end. Yeah. And then the client, you have like all these, you know, crazy technologies, you know, particularly with HTML5, you've got, you know, the video, the audio tag, stuff like that. You've got web workers, yeah. you've got web sockets, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Um, so probably the, the trickiest distributed system I developed was actually uh, this research system I developed uh, to do speculative JavaScript execution. So the basic idea yeah. is that you, know, you load a web page, and uh, let me give you a very simple example. Suppose you've got an image gallery, right? And so you hit the next button, and it's going to go out and it's going to fetch that image. Right. So if you have a poor network connection, that fetch is going to be super slow. 
So what you want to do is try to hide that fetch. So I created this system whereby uh, you have this JavaScript library that essentially speculates or guesses that you're going to uh, generate various event handlers. Oh, right. right. So basically what it would do is it would create like a shadow copy of the JavaScript runtime, yeah. and then it would guess that you would hit next. It would go out and actually issue the fetch, but it would only update the shadow copy of the browser runtime. Right. Then if you actually hit that uh, button, if you generate that event uh, handler, then it would say, ah, okay, let me just swap in this pre-rendered world, if you will, oh. uh, and you've hidden the network latency. Right. Jeez. Trying to debug that thing was like <laughs> trying to write Inception 2. This right. is like the worst thing in my entire life. Because first of all, I mean, JavaScript is just the left hand of Satan. Yeah. Second of all, I'm dealing with like these multiple speculative universes. Yeah. And so like things would break. And I'm like, what universe am I in? And, like that was actually a legitimate question. Like usually yeah. just some like you know, 15 year old That's... boys sit around and say, what universe am I in, man? Yeah. Like, what's going on? This is a straight this, question. This is, yeah, this is, this is, this, yeah, this is a straight Where legitimate am I? question. <laughs> actually, what has happened yeah. to me? Yeah. It's like Total Recall or something. <laughs> so yeah, so I would just sort of sit there and stare at my computer, and I felt kind of like a like a sort of low rent Stephen Hawking. You know, yeah. I'm like inventing yeah. all kinds of notation to define like what universe I'm in, and yeah. I created. And you know, like you're in a bad place when you're like creating like custom sort of debugging infrastructure just for this specific problem. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, Firebug yeah. was not going to hack it. <laughs> like where I was. Firebug had no notion of like my separate universes. <laughs> so I'm building this like separate what? logging no. infrastructure and I've got these like advanced visualizations. And then yeah. people would walk by my office. They're like, James, what's going on? I'm like, you don't even want to know, bro. You don't even want to just <laughs> go. Bad. Save yourself. Yeah, I, I can't be saved. You should just leave, man. Fly, you fools. Now, yeah. And what was so funny is that some of these bugs were just like super simple ones, but they manifested themselves and like the creation or destruction of worlds I yeah. felt like Galactus or something like that <laughs> it's just, it just so amazing and so I, I spent like a, I think a week on this very simple bug that was just improperly initiating uh, initializing this object but then like that object was like the god object it was like the Odin object you <laughs> right, know? Right. and it's like if you didn't initialize the Odin object properly then like all other objects yeah, that spawn from it become broken oh. man and so it was one of those things where I found the bug and I realized how simple it was. Yeah. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was just ready to just like throw my laptop in a river, just uh, go become a priest or something. It's yeah. like, this was not meant for me. But I eventually got it figured out. But man, that was, that was horrendous. Uh, those bugs are definitely the worst ones where yeah. you just spend days and days trying to find it. And when you find it, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. And you just feel like, why? Why did you waste that's my right. life like this? And the thing that's so terrible too is that, you know, it's not one of those things where you just say, hey, buddy. Would you mind just taking a look over my shoulder and uh -huh. you know yeah, seeing yeah. if you can find out what's going on? Because it's like this deeply encoded knowledge that I've sort of like you uh -huh. know it, it just it's it's like it's like an evil tree that has like these yeah. vicious roots and you can't do anything <laughs> with it. You're the only person who can solve it. I mean yeah. it's it's very funny because one of the things that I like about research is that you know at certain points I'll be the only person who knows something. Right. You know, yeah. and I want to publish it and like let other people know. Yeah. That's kind of a neat feeling. Like you discover something, like wow, I'm the only person on earth who knows it. Yeah, you know, really. That has like good. a downside too. It's like sometimes like yeah. I'm the only person who can solve <laughs> yeah. this bug because nobody else was stupid enough to try to make this new system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. it's not like I'm alone in this multi universe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't go and Stack Overflow. It's like, hey guys, <laughs> has anyone I, happened to create yeah. the same experimental research system I've created? Yeah. If so, do you have an error? On line 256, <laughs> like, you know, food. Subject answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. I guess that's the problem because you can't you can't have a stack overflow for researchers because everyone will just be asking their own. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna do any help. I mean, it's it's just it's 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 tricky. I mean, luckily, you know, once you've been doing these things for a while, you sort of get sort of instincts, you know, that are good. I mean, one of the funny yeah. things is sometimes you'll you work with students and uh, they're like, "Hey, man, I'm really interested in working in the web." I'm like, "Well, you're probably not." Like, you're probably not, I'm not trying to scare you off of it, but like, I'm trying to scare you off of it. Like, it's going to be very intense, you know? And, uh, so, you, you can know, do we, whatever you want. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's right. That's right. Exactly. That's right. All your dreams can come true. Most of your dreams will not come true. Yeah. <laughs> so, any one of them might, but. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes they'll come to me and they'll say, oh, I've, I found, I've, I got this bug in my code. Yeah. I've been looking at it for four hours. I can't figure out what's going on. And I'm like, yeah, well, I mean, the problem is that it's a Tuesday and you open that page up in Safari and then yeah. you actually were hitting F7 when you're opening the page. Don't do that. Open yeah. it tomorrow on a Wednesday. Hold F12 instead, yeah. okay? Yeah. And then hold shift. That's the key. Yeah. Clear the cache. Now, the cache isn't actually going to clear because yeah, yeah. that never works. No. It's going to partially clear, okay, but that's going to be good enough. Yeah. They're like, how do you know that? I'm like, because I, I just, 
Yeah. I'm just in a terrible place because like I've been exactly where you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm I've doing been crawling the... through this for years. So yeah, I'm doing the incantations the because. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very. It doesn't fun. hurt anyway. Well, what's interesting is that you know in the regular development world, like your compiler is almost never wrong. Yeah. It's yeah. almost always unreasonable to say, "Oh, this is a problem in GCC." Yeah. My code's correct. Like in the web world, the browser is wrong almost all the time. Oh yeah. yeah. Like your code is certainly wrong too. But yeah. It's yeah, like the yeah. browser is often but, broken. Yeah, we can't even find but, our error because there actually was a bug in Chrome in this version. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's almost one of the first worst things about the browser because it's so forgiving that you can yeah. write any kind of crap and it kind of works. And how do you know that what you wrote is actually right? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you don't. Error. And what's so funny is that, I mean, we're doing important things on the browser. This isn't yeah. like, you know, Angry Birds, if it breaks, law, she's Angry Birds, I lost my high score. This yeah. is like, you know, banking. You know, yeah. it's like yeah, email, yeah. stuff like this. Things that you would want to work correctly. Yeah. And people were kind of like, well, just, you know, something will, will load in your browser. We don't really know what it is, but... Yeah. No, and something will break somewhere in yeah. the browser as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That is. It's, you, you'll get something. And that's it such kind, a weak kind of, guarantee. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it kind of freaks me out, too, that we're building all this stuff on such a weak foundation, on such yeah. a many layers of just crap. Yeah, like, yeah. when there's something like the shell shock bug happening... And people actually start looking into like, right. well, you know, SSL, this thing that we do all our banking through, what is that really? And it just turns out to be like, oh, it's just a mess. Like, oh, no yeah, one knows yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's one thing I'll talk about in my talk tomorrow. Just, yeah. it's, it's like there's, there, you know, sometimes people say, oh, it's like elephants all the way down or turtles all uh, the way down. Yeah. It's just like, just chicanery all the <laughs> way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I mean, you know, people have all these JavaScript libraries that, you know, make things you know, they they hide certain uglinesses of the things below it. Yeah. That's kind of true. But then they just introduce other uglinesses too. Yeah. So it's like instead of people going to Stack Overflow and saying like, well, how does Firefox handle this weird thing? They're like, how does jQuery handle this weird thing? Yeah. Or like, how does Angular handle this weird thing? Uh, so really, I think that we need sort of a fundamental rethink of the web. So yeah. that's one of the things that I sort of think about as a researcher. How can we do that? But, you know, until uh, I can become an independent browser vendor, I have to live in this horrible world where, I mean, because I always, you know, imagine like, like Intel was like, we're going to release a new version of, you know, our chipset and like, it may not work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it, it may part, well yeah, work. like we're feeling pretty confident about ad, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, like function calls are not our strong point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, what? what is going on? This is totally <laughs> unacceptable. Right? Yeah. But for some reason in the browser world, you can do that. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can say like, yeah, we're adding support for like uh, manipulating raw audio samples. I mean, maybe. Yeah. You know, like there's an API you like, can call. We're not yeah. sure what audio is. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> you just put some bits in there and yeah. then... See, see what happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not nothing will happen. <laughs> like, exactly. Trust like not, yeah, like, you, will yeah. Happen. When you look at like, yeah, your task manager, we're gonna spawn some processes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, don't, yeah. don't worry about that. You if will you, see stuff. Yeah, exactly. Oh, There's yeah. gonna, you're gonna have less usable memory <laughs> yeah. Yeah. after than before. <laughs> Speaking of watching things run all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Trust us. So just try it out. Let us know what's going on. Yeah. You know, then like you look at some of like the online forums, like, uh, yeah, I want to file a bug report against this new feature. And then, like, some of the developers would be like, did we release that? <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know that if it's a bug, because we didn't know that that was there. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, we knew it was there, but we haven't really tested it. But we, I mean, we need one, I mean, because other browser yeah. put it out, so we had to put it out. But then, like, they never quite come out and say that, but it's like, that's what everybody knows is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like someone's like, oh, well, W3C has mandated a new, you know, passenger pigeon spec. And so now yeah. you're able to send XHRs over passenger pigeons. Then everyone has to sort of, like, sneeze out some implementation of that so they can, like, check off the little box. Uh, yeah. You know, but then if you actually try to use it, it's like your house catches on fire. Uh, yeah. It's like, well, but in MDN, it said it was experimental, so you should have known. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you brought that on yourself. Yeah. Oh, it's such a mess. It's yeah, such a mess. It's terrible. It's terrible. I mean, what's great, I mean, so, like, MDN is a very good source of, like, documentation. But yeah. it's just funny to see how many, like, icons they've had to invent to indicate different statuses. Oh, you know, yeah. this is, like, right. deprecated and, like, no longer used. This is deprecated, it's used yeah. all the time. <laughs> this is not deprecated, but experimental. Yeah. Right. Know, the, so it's, it's pretty that's, crazy. Yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's like, and it's, like, half of every presentation from the W3C is just telling people, like, please don't use the experimental features, please. Yeah. And it's, like, just... Before you standardize something, how about you get it to work first? Yeah, I know. I mean, well, slow down. Slow down, <laughs> cowboy. Oh, whoa. You're not in Texas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> suggesting those crazy ideas. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. Because you would think that, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm from the future. 
But <laughs> I think that things like Git support different like branches. You could like even imagine like you have like an experimental branch like you don't give to the public. Yeah. Like does that even make sense? Like I feel like that involves like the grandfather paradox and time travel. <laughs> yeah, like, maybe yeah, yeah. that can't be done. But like you'd think that could maybe be done because I mean, you put these things out there, and of course people want to use it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. of, of course. Why it's wouldn't there. It's there. Yeah. And, you know, it seems like, well, I won't take a hard dependency on it. Let me just go try it out. Yeah. And it's like, you know, two weeks later, lol, I took a hard dependency on it. Nothing else works without yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, one of the things that sort of, I think, signifies the horror of the web world is the polyfill, right? The oh, polyfill, yeah. that thing's so, so cartoonish. You know, it's uh. like, well, you know, my browser should have a feature. Yeah. It doesn't. Let me just modify my browser dynamically. Uh, Can't see a problem with that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> what could possibly like, should almost totally work all the time. And if that's what we're going to do, then why not just open a canvas and draw pixels? Like, wh why are we even bothering? Uh, I believe that uh, openpixel.js is a real thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. it's like very like difficult. Yeah, I know, like, I know. Like, it's very uh, difficult to make a joke in this space because yeah, like, there's someone who's doing that. <laughs> so, open, yeah, I did the library for that. ASM.js is, is great, it's a cool idea. But it's just so funny because I, I think, I don't know, like people are very fixated on speed, you know? So yeah. it's kind of like what you see like in like the, uh, the database world. Mm -hmm. So you have all these people, it's like, yeah, man, no SQL, no SQL DB, oh, MongoDB, yeah. DB. Yeah. We don't have any tables. We don't have any locks. We don't even issue writes. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even yeah. leave your machine. It's we like, just, they have no DB. It's that's, so fast. That's, that's right. <laughs> Blisteringly fast. That's right. That's right. Yeah. We, yeah. we just bare metal. We don't even have an operating system. Yeah. It's just yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> dev null DB, Intel hardware. Yeah. 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 No so errors. I, yeah. And I think you get some of that stuff in sort of the JavaScript world too. I mean, it's very interesting. So like, if you look at the amount of work that's been put into making JavaScript interpreters fast, it's actually super amazing. Yeah. yeah. And there's like some really interesting sort of compiler technologies that have been put in there. Um, but then meanwhile, like, so we've got these amazing, like, just in time compilers, they speculate shapes and all this kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. And it's like, meanwhile, like, sometimes when only one mouse click event should fire, like five do. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Like, I feel like, like a it's lot like, of, like, yeah. we've, we've jumped like, like seven steps ahead of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You know, yeah. it's like yeah. we still don't understand how to get basic food and shelter. <laughs> yeah. No, what do we do? But sometimes. it's like we have hoverboards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as long as you don't turn more than that. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't turn left. Don't ever try to turn left on the no. hoverboard. Go yeah. forward. Yeah, that's right. Quickly. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Only forward and right. Yeah. If you want to turn left, just keep turning right, then eventually you'll get to the left that you were looking yeah. for. So. Step carefully on the polyfills. No, <laughs> I'm kind of a, exactly. a computer language enthusiast. Like I li like writing my own compilers and stuff like that. Okay, the, starting them. Like ah, it's really, intense. it's really exciting to see uh, like the development in you know, JavaScript interpreters, yeah. and it's like it's amazing the work they're doing. It's like how is this even possible? Yeah. But at the same time, it's so depressing because why, why put this, all this work into fixing something that's so broken? Yeah, it's amazing. So I've actually written uh, a JavaScript interpreter and compiler before. Yeah. And like until you do that, you don't understand like like a feature that seems very like fun and cutesy like at the the developer level yeah. is just pure pain at the implementation level. Oh, yeah. You I know, because what you really it's I mean what you'd really like you know at the compiler level like you actually want static types and you want all that stuff yeah. that yeah. JavaScript doesn't give you. So you know you end up sort of speculating on these things and having patch up code and whatever. But yeah, you know you'll see these new features come out. It's like yeah, so the uh, the Farfic Nugent statement allows you to locally declare a variable which will not alias a global variable yeah. unless the variable name has five letters, in which case it's equivalent to a with statement and a let statement. Yeah. And you're like, okay, cool. And the developer's like, I've been waiting for this statement for years. This is so great. <laughs> and then, you know, the compiler people are like, we're going to have to tear the whole thing apart. Yeah. The whole thing apart. <laughs> ah, I, mean, I hate this, you know? Because they have, like, all these, like, super optimized scope chains yeah. and all this kind yeah. of stuff. And, like, and it's so funny because, like, in, the, in uh, MDN's documentation, which is really great, they'll even say things, like, for some statements, like, don't use this statement if you want your code to run before the sun, you know, sort of burns, you know, burns <laughs> yeah. the earth out. Yeah, you know, because yeah. like it's going to set off like all these cold paths in the interpreter. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's intense. And it's like you end up having to decompile optimized code, and it's like, yeah. like why, why are we even doing this? Like, it's, oh, yeah. it's incredibly technically impressive, but it's oh just, yeah, it's just insane. And but. some of those jits are not correct. 
Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was looking. I was looking for a better word. Like, I mean, yeah, uh, talking about the bugging, like, they're, they're uh, just not. They're not correct. And, but I mean, you know, once again, who? Can, I mean, hey, it's super fast. Yeah. But what's so funny is it's, it's super fast. Yeah. But it's like, what are you trying to do? So you go to CNN. CNN's super fast. Yeah. So you could learn about a five-legged dog that was born in Louisiana. Like, yeah. I get it that that's cute. But like, did that have to render super fast? <laughs> yeah. Like, who's gonna? And then you know, I think people have these interesting sort of things like. Uh, like I asked him people want to do things like one like uh, first person shooters in the browser. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of a cool idea, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, really important. But do you actually want to do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, mean, like, I mean, why wouldn't you just want to sort of And it's like you have these the- basic yeah, there's this basic problems. Like at the same time on a technical level, yeah, you can do like three D games in the browser. Yeah. But at the same time, if you accidentally hit the back button in the middle of a game, it's gone. <laughs> oh, don't ever yeah, don't who told you to do that? Yeah. Don't, don't ever hit the back button. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Specifically, somebody. Told you not to. Yeah, that, that, that was like the number one thing you can't do. Don't yeah. hit the back button. Yeah. Don't hit refresh. Yeah. Don't ever hit refresh. What you need to do, you want to cl- close the tab. Yeah. Close the tab and reboot your machine. Yeah. It's the only way to be safe. <laughs> and it's like, you know, in 1997, using the web, I had this problem like writing a text area and suddenly yeah. it, it just reloaded a page and the yeah. text is gone. Yeah. I still have that problem. Oh, yeah. Like, no, there's been no progress in that area. Like, no. why? No, <laughs> no that stuff is... Why, why fix that when we can make JavaScript faster? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that's why the attitude is so strange. It's like if you've ever tried to write just like a very simple, like, what you see is what you get text editor. Hmm. This is such a character builder. I mean, yeah. because you go through these things, and like, just very simple things. Like, what happens when I press and then release a key? Yeah. Just straight up. That's all that I do. <laughs> Load the tab. I press and release a key, then I'm done. Yeah. What happens? Answer, only Zeus knows. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely unclear. Yeah. Right? You don't want to ask you know? that question. Yeah. Like, here's, yeah. A, here's an even worse question to ask. What happens if I press a key and then hold it? Oh, no. oh yeah. Don't, yeah. All bets are off, man. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Are you using Son Internet Explorer or are you using Safari? I mean, yeah. Which I mean, version? That's right. I mean, that's like, and like, that's like the high-level node in a decision tree that's like at least 18,000 levels deep. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? I, I mean, I, I assume that you guys have heard like quorks mode. Uh, yeah, dot org. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that site just cracks me up, man. Because yeah. it's so it's so raw, it's so real. Yeah. Because you know? I think like people like uh, you know, like you go to like all these websites for these JavaScript frameworks that are like, yeah, harness the power of you know mumblefoo.js. <laughs> everything is clean, everything is simple. But yeah. it's like at the low level, like yeah, you're dealing with like multiple mouse click events firing when you didn't click at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah, and eventually something breaks, so you still have to know what's going on to figure out what yeah. just happened. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. It's, it's all it, leaky abstractions. That's right. Yeah. All the way up. Yeah, and I mean, everyone's just working on these new abstractions on top of the previous abstractions, while like the whole framework is just yeah. convoluted. Yeah. 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 I don't. It's a horrible. Mess. Yeah, like I feel like. We would have solved cancer if, like, 70% of the people who work on these frameworks would just yeah. go be doctors or something. Yeah. I'm not saying these frameworks aren't useful, but I'm saying we still have cancer. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like... I mean, yeah. We have fast JavaScript and cancer. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I don't know that we picked the optimal point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this may not be the best universe that we created. <laughs> so why, why don't we have faster cancer? No, uh, wait. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, exactly. uh, yeah. I mean, maybe that's the problem. Like, we need to motivate people in the right way. It's just like, oh, we need cancer to be faster. Like, yeah, optimize this stuff. exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's no lock cancer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Asynchronous cancer. Oh, I'm feeling kind of ill. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, you get billions of dollars for that in Silicon Valley, man. Oh yeah. Go propose that idea. Yeah, it's crazy build, out there, can, man. Can you build a social network on top well, of it? Well, see, the thing that I'm worried about though is like, what's going to happen? So eventually, there's going to be another crash. Right? Like, for sure. That's just the way the economy yeah, works. Yeah. So, like, I feel like in some of these other, like, bust boom cycles, like, some of the people who, like, you know, that got caught in the crash, they actually had, like, legitimate technical skills and, like, you know, that they're, they'll eventually be fine. But for some of these people who, like, all they have is an idea. Yeah. Just an idea. They're hoping to just steal some rich person's money and then just, you know, yeah. run away in a burst of smoke and then, you know, yeah. spend it on, you know, fancy cars or whatever. These people are going to be ruined. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like these people. I don't know what the next step is for them. Like uh, I mean, card just games on the street. Is like uh, you see, like the app Joe, you yeah. know, a while ago. It's yeah, like, yeah. How how is this not the crash? Like yeah. how can this not yeah, that's right. be the point where everyone just goes like, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm> <laughs> totally. Yeah. Like I feel like that was mentioned in Leviticus. 
<laughs> that was like one of the signs that oh, Satan yeah, yeah. is about to come back. Uh. <laughs> Verily, and thou shalt see an app called Yo, <laughs> and it shall go viral. Yeah, yeah. It's a big problem. Uh-huh. But, you know, part of it comes down to user education, right? I mean, because the thing is, like, yeah. that was a dumb app. People bought it. You yeah, know? yeah, So, exactly. really, it's like bad parenting. You know, yeah. people should be going to their kids yeah. and be like, don't be, you know, I mean, don't be that guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who I Sorry. happen to have met today. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it's hard to get somewhere with JavaScript. Everything's moving, swirling really fast, though. But it's, yeah. So how do we solve it? I mean, that's that's the question. Like, how how do you fix this now? Well, I mean, I think at some point it's tricky because I think that what really needs to happen is um, some big browser vendor needs to just sort of take a big bet and then say we're going to move towards a totally different system. It's yeah. going to be simpler. It won't be completely backwards compatible, but allow you to do let's say eighty percent of the stuff that you want to do. Uh, I think short of that. You know, we're not really going to have any sort of uh, sea change in what the interfaces look like because people yeah. will always be afraid. Like, oh, what if no browser supports it and it's going to yeah. break some things? Why should I do anything different? Yeah, yeah. Um, and everyone's so, having too much fun with this stuff now. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, what's also true? I mean, it's kind of like uh, just with the security. It's like the security folks always get upset because they say, "Oh, nobody cares about security," yeah. which is largely true, right? And so, like with respect to robustness, I think this is actually sad. But like people expect web pages to do less. Yeah. Right? It's like in other words, like, you know, if your desktop version of like Adobe Reader or whatever was as anywhere near as flaky as like let's say any of these online services, you would just go to Mr. Adobe's house, just burn it down. Yeah. Just unapologetically. Yeah. Just <laughs> we've had enough of you. This is silly. Yeah. You know, I, I, why did I pay for you know, but I think that for some reason people just assume that the web's just kind of like, oh well, yeah. what yeah. are you gonna do? <laughs> it's there. I I don't know. I mean, the thing is like on one hand you have that Impression like everyone just goes like, ah, it's the web, whatever. Yeah. At the same time, it's like banking and everything is going over the web. Yeah. Now. It's like how, it's like how can you have both of these ideas at the same time? It just doesn't make any sense. It's like we're, we're humans; we can handle the paradoxes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's just the whole like certificate system is just so broken. Yeah. It's like oh, you get a little lock, and it says like oh, this uh, communication might be compromised. Also, so funny, yeah. So it's like presumably the browser should know better, but then it, like poses you this like weird. Like creepy guy question, yeah. That you don't feel comfortable answering, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. so like, first of all, most people don't even know about the lock. I mean, yeah. I thought everybody knew about the lock, but I was actually, you know, I, I talked to people about this. I'm like, well, you know, if you see the lock, they're like, whoa, 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 what are you <laughs> lock? What are you talking about lock? <laughs> yeah, and then like, if something's wrong, like, so some browsers are better than others, but a lot of browsers are just like, look at this interesting thing that happened. This yeah. certificate doesn't match. You know, it should be A E two seven B, but yeah. instead it's like F E eight nine zero. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Yes, I want to go see Angry Birds. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Let me see my video. Yeah, right? exactly. I still exactly. want to go to my website. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. That's right. Yeah, that, that kitten on a treadmill is not going to watch itself. Uh, yeah. that's, that's solid entertainment. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it, yeah, and I mean the whole thing is just nuts. It's like, like by default. If you explain to people how the web works, it's just no, no one would expect it to work that better. It's like, oh, well, your yeah. computer just takes your password and then it tells it to your neighbor. <laughs> and then his computer takes your password and yeah. then tells it to the guy down the street. It's like, no, wait, wait, that's my, don't tell anyone. It is actually funny, yeah. Like when I talk to computer scientists, like, you know, academics who yeah. haven't learned about the web at all, yeah. they ask me, oh, what do you do? And I'm like, I work in the web. And they say, oh, the web, that sounds quaint. Why don't you tell me about it? I tell it to them. And like ten minutes later, they're like, "Oh, just stop! That's <laughs> filthy. Who who did that? Yeah. You know, it's it's, it's a big problem. <laughs> but you know, it is what we have. So, yeah. uh, what are you gonna you do? Have to live with it. And it's so funny because it's like it's not like mobile devices are any better. <laughs> like it's oh, like, no. I mean, everyone's always saying like, "Oh, that the desktop is dying and all this kind of stuff." Yeah. But it's dying just when we figured out most of the broken stuff. This is yeah. so unfortunate, you know? And now we're just moving to these, these other junkier platforms. Ugh. Oh, yeah. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really awful. Yeah. And it, it just depresses me, like, when I, like I got a new phone, and it has, like, a four-core CPU, two gigabytes of, yeah. of RAM, and, like, I think it's 64 gigabytes of storage. And it's so slow and crappy yeah. and can't do anything. It's not enough. Like, what? What, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing in there? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing? 
I mean, that's what I would actually prefer for like my process manager to show me. Like, not like just like raw counts, but it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's like it's like maybe I'm comfortable with Chrome launching 87 different processes when I run it. Yeah. Yeah. But like, what are they doing? Yeah. <laughs> what specifically are they doing, like, in layman's terms? Yeah. Because yeah. as far as I can tell, they're just goofing around. <laughs> they're goofing around, eating up my memory. You know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know, sometimes, time. like, something goes wrong, and then you get, like, that sad Chrome tab. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, well, let me try to kill it. Which one of 80 processes could it be? Yeah. Maybe it's this one. <laughs> oh, no, now I have another sad tab and a different one that I wasn't trying to kill. Like, what... <laughs> it's, it's just hopeless. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, I mean, plugins are just another just special type of disaster. Oh yeah. I mean, those things should just be destroyed from space. I mean, I think that uh, a lot of the browsers, you know, they're they're moving away from them uh, because the new HTML5 stuff is so powerful. But the thing yeah. is, like, yeah, like okay, Flash is dying, except for YouTube, because apparently HTML5 video doesn't work. It's like how well, it works when you're on some devices. Yeah, they some, works like to some devices. Yeah. For about six months on my desktop machine, whenever I went to YouTube with the HTML5 version of the video, yeah. it would play for about 10 seconds, and then we just go, ah. <laughs> and I mean, it was horrifying. Yeah. Like the first time this happens, I almost had a heart attack. Because mm. I was listening to some music video, you know, and I think it was like yeah. actually a Metallica video. <laughs> and it's like, uh, you know, it's so funny because, you know, their songs are so comedically dark, you know. Right. Hybrid children, watch the sea, you know. <laughs> Pray for fire. <laughs> You're like, hey. I, just, right, I just freaked myself out. <laughs> what just happened right there? That was inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, and it's so funny because, uh, you know, like I would try to like search for things, like how to fix this. Because, you know, there's all this like folk wisdom on the internet. Like, yeah. you got to go to your registry, son. And then you got to go to like, you know, or to the Etsy directory and all that kind of stuff. It's like, I was like, oh, how convenient. A YouTube video that shows me what to do. Yeah. Play it. So step one. <laughs> it's like, what? I can't even watch the video that is designed to help me watch videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble. Is there an ASCII art version of this? That's what? another thing. Like, <laughs> why, how come there's always a setting in the browser that fixes the problem? Like, why, why was that setting not yeah. set? Yeah. Like, if you go to about config, uh, yeah. prepare to have your mind blown. <laughs> I mean, there's just, like, deep magic in there. Yeah. You know? It's like video freak out true. It's like, no, why, <laughs> yeah, exactly. why is this on? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, enable buggy features, true. Yeah. No, false. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, that was false. Yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty crazy in there. It's funny too because there's I, know, you know, I mean there's a lot of folk wisdom on the web. I mean that's actually a sign that the web is terrible because there's so much yeah. folk wisdom out yeah. there. And so like, I mean the whole reason Stack Overflow exists is because it's all a mess. Yeah. yeah, and so people will say things like, "Oh, my browser's slow. What should I do?" Yeah. And people say, "Well, go to about config and then turn your max TCP connections to like 800." <laughs> 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 it's like, Boom. that will certainly do something. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. It That's going to do what you, what you want it to do. you feel good about it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Yeah, turn placebo. And the worst thing is, that might fix it. Because suddenly you have yeah. 800 processes and it's slowing everything down. And suddenly the video is not playing multi-thread. It's just playing yeah. one-thread, so it works. So it like, would. Uh, I mean, at a high level... I mean, I don't, I don't know how to do this. It'd be great if we had a system that could actually sort of speak to you. Like I said, like just in English. Being yeah. like, hey, man, what's up, Todd? Yeah, this is, this is your browser talking. I'm not feeling too good today. <laughs> so don't try to load any shockwave content. It's just not going to work out for you. I w- try me tomorrow. It might work out better. Because then you could feel like you could actually have like, a conversation with this thing. Yeah. Whereas now it just seems so random. You know, yeah. it's like you go to a video, you know. And then you just get like the little static screen. You're like, what? I yeah. know that I'm not in Indonesia where this video is banned. I should, yeah. I should be able to see this. Mm-hmm. Then you hit play. Then it pauses. Then it plays and it pauses. Yeah. I tell you, here's the most irritating thing about videos, though. The most irritating thing is that I'll be trying to watch this video in like, you know, 127i. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I just given up on HD content. <laughs> like, 127i. Just give that to me. But then before I can get to my 127i content, it'll yeah. try to load some ad in like 3 million P oh, yeah. HD, oh, yeah. which yeah. I didn't ask for, which yeah. I can't get rid of. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm seeing like a frame every 15 seconds. And I'm like, this is not <laughs> worth it. No. This is so bad. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. And at the same time, you see people talking about the singularity and like, oh, we're going to have like oh, never AI gonna taking over. <laughs> never going to happen. You're like, never yeah. going to happen. How, how about like when I click this button, the button gets clicked. How yeah. about we start there? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Singularity we're talking about. Exactly. Who knows, who like how about when happen? I hit backwards in my DVR, 
Yeah. It doesn't just cold reboot because yeah. it doesn't like the backwards no. feature. Yeah. Like that, it's just insane. I agree. All that singularity stuff is so overhyped. I think a lot yeah. of that stuff is is written by people who are not computer scientists or not programmers. Yeah. They're like enthusiasts, which is fine. I'm nothing against enthusiasts, but it's like, you know, like I'm an enthusiast investor, you know, yeah. like I invest a little money on the side, yeah. but I know that I'm not going to go to Wall Street and like make millions. But like imagine if just as an enthusiast, I was like, totally, you guys should buy emu futures because emus are the future, man. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> what? That would make no sense. I should be slapped in the face. And, I, and you have a graph that's showing like, oh, yesterday I bought two. Yeah. And today I got four. So, you that's know. That's right. Look at that. If it keeps going like this. Yeah. You literally <laughs> only need two data points yeah, yeah, to yeah, fit yeah. a curve. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. yeah, it's there's just a lot it's just it's just it's it's not a good state of affairs. And I think too like the the tech industry the like uh what do you call it? Like the tech press, they encourage sort of like this uh sort of tabloid tabloid style coverage of stuff like uh what was that? Like the bend gate or whatever with the oh, Apple yeah. phones. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, that kind of thing, it's like the people who bought those phones, you're rich, stop complaining. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I literally could not care less yeah. about the fact that you have enough money to buy something you don't really need. Yeah. And then somehow it yeah. fails you a little a little bit. Uh, yeah. Because for some reason you you just want to bend your phone and see if it's going to bend. Yeah. I mean, that's the ridiculous thing. Like, that's on oh, you. Oh no, I bought a phone for $600 yeah. and then I bent it. That's yeah. Like, don't do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't bend it. And then yeah. people are like, oh, but I want to be able to put my phone in my back pocket. Then your phone's going to get bent. I don't yeah. know what else to tell yeah. you. Like, that's yeah. just the way. Like, it's a piece of glass you put in your back pocket. You're yeah. an idiot. Yeah. yeah. Would, yeah. would you prefer one. it to break? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can choose. These are the same people who do all these little Apple fanboys. It's all great, but just make it thinner. Yeah. Make it lighter. Make it lighter. Make it thinner. <laughs> Then it bends. They're like, why did you make it bend? Well, because yeah. you told them to do that. Yeah. To be frank, like you're you're the problem. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you don't want your phone to to bend, then like think back in the '80s, like car phones are the size of a brick. <laughs> yeah, they guess what? They, they didn't bend. Yeah. yeah so, cheers. <laughs> Large batteries too. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's exactly. another f- funny thing is that the phones keep ge- getting bigger. And then people are like, well, I like the smaller phone, but everyone's buying the bigger phones. Yeah. So no wonder the phone's getting bigger. It's like, this is your fault. Like, don't buy the biggest phone you can buy. Yeah, no, I know. That's the, that's the thing. People seem to want to blame all these trends on, like, these external forces. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like it's the Soviets who are doing this. Yeah, it's, yeah. This is weird. It's, 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 you know, it's just all these, all these sort of uh, Fortune 500 CEOs just trying to sh- shove this yeah, stuff down my conspiracy. throat. Nobody's forcing you to buy a phone that's the size of a table. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you wanted because yeah. you want to be able to watch, you know, full HD TV on there, and so then that's what you get. Yeah. Oh, but I feel like it's brittle. Well, of course, because you also demanded it to be thin. Yeah. yeah. It's like what? And it's so funny. It's like the people who complaining. None of these people are like material scientists. Yeah. Like none of them have like deep backgrounds think? in chemistry or things like that. None of them are like on this problem. Yeah. None of them are like, I'm going to solve this. I'm going to go read some books from the library and yeah. make a you know a, a huge yet thin and lightweight phone that's like impervious. It's like that's Captain America's shield. Like, yeah, yeah. It can't be done. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, that is what we, that is what people want. But yeah. I, mean, I guess that's the thing. It's like everyone can have an opinion. Uh, you get to the point yeah. where it's like, I don't care about physics. I want to be like, you know, like okay. So you don't care about physics. Well, physics cares about physics. So yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, like, like you, you can't get around that. Yeah. Yeah. It is true. Everybody. I mean, this is this is generally, I think, sort of the. Uh, affliction of the uh, sort of like YouTube comment age. Like yeah. People think like, oh, because I can say something, it's a good idea for me to say I something. Like, That's uh, actually not true. Yeah. So it's like, you know, where I grew up in the South, like in Georgia, back in the States, like people didn't, like when kids came up and said something dumb, no one's like, yeah. oh, look at you, little man. Mm-hmm. Look at that cute little thing you said that's totally wrong about the world. People are like, you need to stop talking like that yeah. because that's, that's tomfoolery. Yeah. And that's not the way that the world works. You say, oh, isn't that mean? Well, guess what? Those kids don't grow up to be clowns. So yeah. it's like you got to, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You know, yeah. so people go on these comment forums. And what's so great is that most companies, they don't respond to the trolls, you yeah. know, which is the right policy. Yeah. But every once in a while, they'll like retweet someone or be like, we're so sorry you had this problem. Then, yeah. of course, that just makes it 10 times worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, that's the worst thing you can do is yeah. to respond to it. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other discussion. Is yeah. like comments on the internet. <laughs> there should be no comments, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Like, I mean, if I had a, re- a website, I'd run it like Singapore. You know, oh, yeah. it's like, listen, yeah. I'm 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 the boss. You know, and it's like you're lucky to be able to get to my site. Yeah. If you don't like my attitude, then don't come to Singapore. No. <laughs> it's just not for you. 
that's also funny. Like people who cry about censorship and yeah. like, oh, dude, freedom, man. Everyone should be. It's like, no, this is my side. Like, yeah. I don't like what you're saying. I'm gonna yeah, remove your. Hey, go to 4chan. Yeah, like that's what 4chan is for. Yeah, you know, like I don't. People just have these weird sort of expectations about. Uh, sort of what life owes them. Yeah. Like, and the thing is, like, life actually doesn't owe you anything. No. Yeah. Like, it Especially was, not the internet. Oh, no, no. I mean, like, very recently, like, 50 years ago, life expectancy was, like, 20 years. Yeah. Like, you'd just be born, and then you'd be lucky to have a kid, and you're just dead. Yeah. You're just, like, eaten by a saber-toothed tiger. Like, you've just been tapped out by life. Yeah. And so now everyone's, like, living longer. We got these little, like, future machines. And I was like, oh, man, wouldn't it be great if they could do this? I'm like, yeah, but don't forget, like, your parents' parents... Like, they actually had to, like, deal with, like, you know, huge sloths. Yeah. <laughs> Things like this. It was a tough scene. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't even get a bent phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's right, yeah, it's yeah. Like, boohoo, my phone is bent. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right, boohoo, that, that's right, yeah. I'm trying to defeat the Soviets, yeah. so, you know. Yeah, can I call you later? <laughs> exactly. It's like every computer should come with an old person. He slaps you. Oh, no, seriously. <laughs> that's why I like no, using... No, that's com- world improvement. <laughs> that's why I like using computers with old people, because they just don't... They're not convinced by, like... They're not fooled by all this, like, you know, shiny bells and whistles. Yeah. You know? It's like, you know, you show them, like, how to use email. What's this whole row of smiley faces and emoticons at the bottom? As it turns out, you don't need those. Yeah. You, know, you sh- in fact, should not put those in emails. Just literally put in your text and just be done with it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> covered all the good parts of the internet now. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah totally. I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's such, a, uh, it's such a fertile ground for conversation because yeah, there's just so many, yeah. so many accidents yeah, out there waiting to be so fixed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's quite unfortunate. But, you know, we're going to stick with this probably for the foreseeable future. Yeah. You know, unless, I like, mean, it's job security at least. Yeah. Like, what I'd really want is just like for some aliens to just show up at outer space. Be like your planet's going to be destroyed yeah. unless you get rid of the entire web stack, <laughs> the entire thing, client PhD, server. Like, please. Yeah, the, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no sophisticated civilization has ever sur- survived longer than three thousand years with PHP. <laughs> yeah, it's got to go. It's got to go. It's like. We're, we were gonna like bring you into the club like a that's international right. space like, <laughs> you know like PHP I'm like sorry guys that's right that's like, right we're just gonna put up a wall here that's yeah. right yeah we're taking back the invitation to join the Tetrahedron <laughs> Alliance yeah. Yeah. you gotta yeah. sort some things out first <laughs> like bringing organic ma- material into Australia just yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. exactly oh, wait. <laughs> exactly <laughs> PHP is like bunnies in Australia it's like oh no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we tried that once and you know <laughs> exactly where it went. exactly mm-hmm. yeah <sighs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that uh, if there's like one take-home point I would take from the web, I think the web is not something that you should just sort of get into lightly. I think that's the problem. I think a lot of people get into the web. Like maybe they're another type of programmer. They're like, oh, let me just dabble in the web. Yeah. You know, and then they're like, and then they're like all these frameworks to let you make something, which is like fairly broken, but actually looks visually quite nice and kind of yeah, bells and whistles. Yeah, like, yeah. ooh, look at these drop shadows. Look yeah. at look at this thing here. I can drag and, and move it here and the fonts look nice. And then all of a sudden they call themselves a web hacker. You know, it's like you look at someone's resume, it's like, what skills do you have? Oh, like, you know, C Sharp, you know, uh, Perl, web hacker. Yeah. You know, and it's like most people wouldn't feel comfortable like hacking on C Sharp for like two weeks and then calling themselves like, you know, I'm like a C Sharp jockey. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just the man when it comes to C Sharp. I think that people make their first website, they're like, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> man, I'm just, the, I'm the top 5% of the field. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and what's pace. sad is that that's both probably true, yeah, exactly. but, but also objectively, <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's relatively true, but absolutely speaking, you're not very good. No, yeah. No, you know, no. so I feel like, uh, like developing the web, like your first year, it should be like in like some of those ancient cultures where it's like, you should be shamed. Yeah. You, know, like you, have to, you have to go out into like the woods and like live by yourself in a tent and like you know, fight lions and stuff like that. Yeah. Then like you prove your worth to the to the tribe. Yeah. Then you come back, and then like you can look your elders in the eye and stuff like that. You, yeah, I'm like I'm a, I'm a JavaScript jockey. Yeah. But yeah. Like before that, don't be and don't particularly if you only been coding in it for three months. Don't brag. Yeah. It's not. I feel ashamed to say that I'm good at JavaScript. It's not the right choice. I should probably be coding in something else. I mean. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's the combination of like complete ignorance and lack of ability, but like, why, why is it that the worse someone is on the internet, like the worse someone is, the the more impressive their the CV is. Like, oh, I'm a web ninja. Yeah, like web a big ninja. Big picture of That's his right. face, like you know, like yeah, 
There's this whole alternate semantic reality that people have invented. (laughs) And that's why... But I guess it's also because... It seems like the, the reward system is just completely broken with yeah, the web. Yeah, that's right. It's like you can do whatever crap you want and you can be totally successful. And there's just no correlation between what you did and the success level you're going to have. Well, I think because people are, I think the technology field in general, but the web field in particular, is very driven by novelty. Yeah. Sort of quasi-independent of, of worth. So, you know, if you come up with some new framework... And does something new, people are like, yeah, yeah, that thing has a good idea. Yeah. Regardless of whether it's like it's rock solid or flat design. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exa- yeah, no drop down anything. Yeah, yeah. Everything's just buttons. Okay, that's like a bad idea. But it's like it hasn't been done before. So someone's yeah, gonna be no, like, Yeah, I'm new. using button.js. Yeah. yeah. It's all buttons. <laughs> <laughs> buttons all the way down. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it's so easy that's to right. switch to the next trend all the yeah, time. Yeah, totally, totally. And like someone's gonna do like someone's gonna do that. Yeah. That's what's so funny. Like, someone's gonna take this idea we had and like gonna make button JS. Yeah, I was gonna say if no one has actually done button JS before. Yeah. Like, it's going to get done now. Yeah, exactly. It's probably someone at this conference yeah, here. There. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Better not Google it. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's like, there's like, it's like, a, like an, an open talk slot on Friday in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Now it's going to be button.js. Yeah. But I guess that's the thing, too, because someone could actually do button.js, and it's like, yeah, it's all buttons. And yeah. it could be incredibly successful. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. what are you going to do? <laughs> I, it's, it's tough. Well, I mean, yeah. it, what's interesting is that I think that I mean, to a certain extent, some of this stuff doesn't harm people in the sense that it's like these weird sort of like self-selected communities of like button.js enthusiasts. Yeah. You know, the problem is when they start evangelizing and then like you, and then like if you're actually like an, you know, hardworking individual, you work, let's say some, some company and you know, someone asks you what framework should I use? Yeah. Oh God. Then you have to like, you have to dive down into this like swamp of like internet comments about like, yeah. you know, which one's better and why is it better and you know, I, I ported from this to this and that's why I'm going to go to heaven and, you know, all this kind <laughs> yeah, of stuff. Yeah. It, it's just tricky to figure out. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. But that's also another hilarious thing. It's like every few months you get this stream of, oh, we're <laughs> over time. <laughs> we'll have to continue some other time. All right. Fair enough. Well, thank you uh, for the invite. Yeah, yeah thank you. That's great. All right. I feel like I could continue whining about the web forever. But, uh, oh, well, I'll continue that whining during my talk tomorrow. So, uh, maybe awesome. be sure to stop by. so if anyone's interested in hearing more about why the web is terrible, yeah. Yeah. come stop by. Forward, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. Let me put it this way, Mr. Amer. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information. We are all, by any practical definition of the words, foolproof and incapable of error.